two amazing cameras. One costs 499, the other one 849. We got 400 pounds different in price, but is there a difference in pictures and video quality? And I have to say, Pixel 7a is even more stable than 7 Pro. That's crazy. Let's go and check on dynamic range. And I have to say, they both doing a fantastic job. Uh, but I'm going to take some selfies now. What do you think? Pictures looking very, very similar. Now I'm doing 4K 60 FPS on Pixel 7 Pro and still 4K 30 FPS on Pixel 7a. However, this is the first Pixel that can actually shoot 4K on selfie camera. What about stabilization? What do you think? Nice. Ultra wide angle, 4K 30 FPS. On both, however, Pixel 7 Pro is capable of shooting 4K 60 FPS. This is stabilization. And I have to say, both doing a really great job. But let's switch two times. One, this is the main sensor. This is stabilization. Let me do a little run. Okay, now moving to times two. This is digital zoom on both. This is stabilization. And I have to say, I am so impressed with the Pixel 7a. Wow. This phone is way cheaper. Okay, now let's switch to optical zoom here on Pixel 7 Pro. And I'm gonna do this digital zoom times five here on Pixel 7a. I mean, you can clearly see the difference. Uh, but let's take some pictures now. Now I have to say the biggest difference you're going to see when you're zooming in, you've got 20 times available on Pixel 7 Pro and it only times 5 on Pixel 7a. But if you don't care about the zoom, then you should be absolutely fine with Pixel 7a. So this is cinematic mode on Pixel 7 Pro. Sadly, this is not available on Pixel 7a. What do you think? This is a really nice feature. However, it's only 1080p. By the way, if you are enjoying my content, do me a huge favor and subscribe to my channel. My goal is to hit 100k by the end of the year. I buy all the phones for my own money. So if you appreciate that, uh, that would be great. Cheers. This is uh, 4K 60 FPS times two on both. Check on the focus. Nearly stay there. Good girl. But I'm gonna have a look at some slow motion now. So this is cinematic mode on Pixel 7 Pro. Sadly, this is not available on Pixel 7a. What do you think? This is a really nice feature. However, it's only 1080p. By the way, if you are enjoying my content, do me a huge favor and subscribe to my channel. My goal is to hit 100k by the end of the year. 
I buy all the phones for my own money. So if you appreciate that, uh, that would be great. Cheers. Both phones have that active stabilization mode. But well, let's see which one is actually more stable. What do you think? Uh, but I'm gonna take some macro shots now. There's no dedicated macro mode, but when you get very close, the lens actually detects there is a macro available. This is locked stabilization uh, for things really far in the distance. This is times five. And you can clearly see the difference with the quality because Pixel 7 Pro has optical zoom here. Wow. The stabilization is way better on Pixel 7a even though Pixel 7 has dedicated lens. That's interesting. But let's go and check on the low light conditions now. Ultra wide angle 4K 30 FPS. It is pretty dark on both. But as soon as we move to main sensor, we can clearly see the difference. And times two digital zoom. This is optical zoom on Pixel 7 Pro. On the other side, digital zoom on Pixel 7a. It's very interesting when you go ultra wide angle, Pixel 7a actually uses six second exposure and Pixel 7 Pro only three. And in my opinion, picture on 7a is brighter but what do you think let me know in the comments below let's have a look if there's any difference when it's very very dark and yes they are both doing the astro photography really nice this is selfie camera at night and you can see that pixel 7a is a little bit wider interesting I am standing by the lamp so the quality looks pretty decent but which one is actually better what do you think I have to say, so far I'm very impressed with Pixel 7a. I have to say guys, Pixel 7a, such a great device and value for money. I don't see much point spending another 400 pounds to buy Pixel 7 Pro. Highly recommend. Make sure you check out camera comparison with another great device, Samsung Galaxy A54. These are my favorite phones in 2023. Uh, Flagship device is just so much expensive, honestly. Hope you enjoyed this episode. Please let me know your thoughts and I'll catch you in the next one. Cheers.